In this video, I'm going to show you how to save money on Facebook advertising. I'm, we're going to leverage an underutilized Facebook ad objective that's going to help you decrease your cost per click, which should translate to lower cost per lead and or lower cost per sale. Hey fellow dadpreneurs, Adam Dukes here, and in this video, we're going to talk about a little Facebook ad objective called PPE. Uh, a lot of e-commerce people that run Facebook ads know the power of PPE. However, I see a lot of local marketers, agencies that run ads for local businesses, they skip out on this. and it's extremely, extremely important. So in this video, I'm going to share with you why you want to do it and also how to set up the ad. Now, this is a two-part series. I did part one uh, the other day, so check it out. Watch that one first. Uh, this video will make much more sense uh, because there's a couple pieces that I uh, referenced to the first video in this video, so you might not, uh, it, it might be a little bit confusing. So definitely go watch that video first, then come back here and watch this video. So let me open up my Google Sheets here and we will go over it. So nowadays, in 2020, Facebook calls it an engagement ad. Back in the day, 2014-15, it used to be called a page post engagement, otherwise known as PPE. I still reference PPE just because that's what I learned years ago. Uh, so it quickly boosts your social proof. So you're running an ad and the objective is to get likes, comments, or shares. Now you might be thinking, why in the hell would I do that? The more likes, comments, and shares, other people see that and then they start trusting the ad. So if you have tens of hundreds, hundreds of thousands of likes, comments, and or shares, people are gonna trust that and they're more likely to click the link and possibly become a lead, schedule an appointment, book a time to call, download some type of an ebook, um, e uh, lead magnet, checklist, guide, case study video, whatever it is you're offering. So that's why you wanna run this ad. You run these ads at the same time and I'll walk you through the entire process. So it's going to lower the cost per click because more people are gonna click on it when they see the social proof. It's also cheaper to run these ads because the CPM is lower. CPM is cost per thousand, basically, how much it costs to show your ad to a thousand people. Website conversions, I try to shoot for under $40 website conversion ad objective, I should say. I shoot for under $40. PPE can be as low as seven, eight, $12. So it's much, much cheaper. Uh, the next one, number four, is showing testimonials. This is a great way to kind of show testimonials. You're not requiring them to click a link or do anything. There's no call to action on these type of ads. It's just basically kind of like a mini billboard. It's, it's more for branding. So the page post engagement is great to run with uh, showing off testimonials, if it's a video testimonial or if it's like an image testimonial. Um, I actually find, I like when I run video ads, I actually prefer page post engagement over video view objective, just it, because the likes, comments, and shares. Over time, when they get the more likes, comments, and shares, they, it seems like they are more likely to watch, start watching the video, one, and number two is watching um, the video much, much longer because they see that social proof. So that's what these ads are for, it's to build social proof, and then there's a bunch of benefits after building that social proof. So let's dive into the Facebook Ads Manager and I will show you how to set up this ad. So we are going to create a new ad. We'll click the green button, create. And I do, I name mine. I put it in all caps. I have kind of a weird, weird way to do things. Uh, let's do switch, uh, switch to quick creation mode real quick. I like creating them a little bit better in this one. So engagement, I always put the Uh, the objective there and it's for my 17 point Facebook ads checklist which you can get at the link down below braindeadsimpleads.com you can download the 17 point Facebook ads checklist so what we're going to do we're going to just skip over the buying type the traffic we are going to hear and post engagement and we'll click save to draft and now this is going to the next stage is going to open up the ad set level this is where we select the targeting location, demographics. My computer's running a bit slow here, so we're gonna scroll down a little bit and we are going to, oh, no, I take that back. This is the campaign, so we're going to go over here and select the ad set level. And I always name the ad set level after I fill out this information below, just so I know how to properly name it. This doesn't take a big budget. It can be a couple dollars, it can be $5 a day. You can even run it at a dollar a day. You're still gonna get good results. Let's say we want to do $3 a day. And I typically run these uh, five days, maybe seven, maybe 10, uh, depending on how much social proof I, I, I wanna get. 
we're going to keep United States. We're going to go 25 to 59 for the ages. We're going to target men because we're going to target dads. English is the language. We're going to do all parents for dads. And we are going to select narrow audience, narrow it down a little bit more. We are going to target Gary Vaynerchuk. Yeah, you know what? Let's do the last video I did Gary Vaynerchuk. So we'll do Russell Brunson. Click here. And you'll see my audience right over here on the right hand side. So 310,000, that is a good audience. Connections, I'm not going to, uh, I'm not going to touch this. Now we're going to do edit placements. I like to run it just on the Facebook news feed. So the mobile and the desktop, you can switch uh, either or or run both. By default, the both of them are selected. I'm going to turn off Instagram. I'm going to turn off audience network. And then I'm going to uncheck some of these boxes that are checked by default for some reason. An article we don't want. And that's it for the placement. Optimization and delivery, we're not going to touch that. We are just going to leave that be. And we are going to, let's name it real quick. So it's US Dads, Russell Brunson, did 25 to 59. I like to do FBNF for Facebook newsfeed. I put brackets, I put the date. And we can go to the ad level here. And then we're not going to be creating an ad. That's why I said you, you want to watch the first video. It's going to make much more sense. Page post, website URL, or app. Please add a promoted object and try again. Okay, it's given us an error message. So you, uh, if you wanted to, you could create an ad just like just like you normally would. You'd hit create ad. You'd add in the ad copy. You could use an image. You could use a video. You could create a slideshow, add in the text, the call to action button. But for this specific one, because like I said, it's kind of a two-phased approach, we're going to use existing post. And then what we're going to do is click on enter post ID. And I'm going to open up my notepad file from the previous video. And I'm going to grab the Facebook ID right here, copy it, hit submit, and it's going to pull the ad from the other ad that we're running. So here is the ad that we set up for the website conversion. That, that specific ad is optimized for conversions. This specific ad, same, it's going to the same area. This right here, it's, it's a URL. We're sending traffic. Uh, so we basically have two ads, but we're sending traffic to the same spot. And I hate this new um, preview feature. This is uh, newer. So here it is. Uh, again, this was set up as a website conversion. It, it's a basically it's a URL. Uh, this ad is on a specific URL. So we have an ad going for website conversions based on generating us leads. And then this ad is the objective is to get uh, likes, comments, and shares, engagement. Then we'd hit publish. We'd want to name this, so let's grab Happy Man, Trees in the Background. And we'll scroll up to the top and add it in as the name. I forgot to do that. Just so we know which ad is which. We'll close this one out and then we'll create, we'll create a, I'll show you uh, the process of setting up the second one. So we'll check this uh, box right here. We'll click duplicate, duplicate again. We're going to grab this URL or this ID right here. Same exact process. We're just going to add in. So then we're targeting, we're creating a second ad. So we'll enter post ID, we'll paste it here, hit submit, and that will be the image of the, the mountain, the guy with the mountain in the background. Then we'll grab this text here, happy man, mountain in background. We'll click publish. And we'll 
close this out and now we have both ads that we'll see right over here in review as you can see this ad we created earlier was a demo ad I forgot to turn it off and it's spending money so I'm going to turn it off right now uh, as you can see we got the engagement ad in review so that is how you want to properly set up a website conversion ad. You want to set up the website conversion ad first. Again, the first video is right up here. Check it out. And then at, right after that, you want to set up an engagement ad. So then you're getting the best of both worlds. You're sending all the traffic to the same URL, to the same specific ad. And that's what you want to build up that social proof. So that's why you want to create the website conversion ad first, then the PPE ad or the engagement ad second. Like I said, after five days, seven days, 10 days, I typically turn off the PPE or I just drop the budget down to like a dollar or two a day and just let it run and just continually build up social proof. Now with the PPE, when you're looking at the stats, you're probably not going to be getting link clicks. You're probably not going to be getting leads or sales. You might get lucky. Uh, typically link clicks are going to be like five or six dollars. There's a lot of variables, um, but that's not the objective. The objective is to get likes, comments, or shares. So keep an eye on the ad, make sure it's getting engagement. If it's not, then you can turn it off, but it should be getting engagement because that's what your objective is. So that is kind of like I said, it's a two phase process with website conversion and uh, engagement ad. It works very, very well. It doesn't matter if you're generating leads or if you're selling something on like an e-commerce platform. This is going to help you decrease cost per click, which will decrease cost per lead and or sale. You're going to generate a higher click through rate. More people are going to click on your ad, which drives costs down. Your ad's just going to perform better uh, all in all. So it's, it's well, well worth doing. Um, and again, this is just a piece of the strategy. This isn't your whole Facebook strategy, which a lot of people revolve their whole strategy around website conversions. And then they bitch and moan why Facebook ads don't work. So put this into play. Next time you run a lead generation ad or and or a um, ad if you're selling something like it on an e-commerce store. If you already have ads in place, that's totally fine. Follow this exact process and kickstart those engagement ads to start generating social proof on the ad. So that's it for now. Hey, if you like these types of videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Click that little bell notification because I release videos twice a week for your viewing pleasure. As always, if you have comments, questions, or concerns, please drop them down below and I'll do my absolute best to answer them. If I can't answer them, I'll try to find someone who can or point you in the right direction or maybe link you to the right resource. As always, thank you for watching. I truly do appreciate it.